In this unknown carbonate sample, it will be reacted with hydrochloric acid in three different trials. In each trial, you will determine the mass of carbon dioxide, the mass of carbonate, and the percent carbonate. In the end, you will take the average of these three trials to determine what is your average percent carbonate and then compare that to a set of standards to identify what compound the unknown is. For the first trial, the mass of the empty beaker, empty vial, and hydrochloric acid is seen here. Approximately 0.5 grams of sample is added to the vial. This is then placed back in the beaker and the mass recorded. The combined mass of the sample plus the beaker, vial, and acid is seen here for trial number one. The first sample is then reacted slowly with the hydrochloric acid. The final mass for everything after the reaction of trial one can be seen here. The starting mass for trial number two can be seen here. This is the mass of the empty beaker, vial, and the acid. Again, approximately one half gram is added to the sample vial. And the overall mass is recorded afterwards. The total mass of the containers, acid, and sample can be seen here. In the second trial, the acid is again slowly added to the carbonate to allow the formation of carbon dioxide gas. After the reaction is complete, you can see the final mass displayed here. For the third trial, the mass of the empty containers and the acid is displayed here. Again, approximately one half gram of sample is added to the sample vial. and then placed back in the beaker to obtain the, the second weighing. The mass of the containers, acid, and carbonate sample for trial number three is displayed here. Once again, the acid is slowly added to the carbonate sample to allow the release of carbon dioxide gas.
after which the vial with the empty pipette can be placed in the beaker and weighed. The final mass of the reaction setup after the reaction is displayed here. With the three trials now complete, you can obtain the mass of carbon dioxide from each trial, therefore obtaining the mass of carbonate in each trial and the percent carbonate in each trial. Based on the average value, you can then identify what carbonate is this sample.